I remember when I first met Nick, it was Valentine's Day 2011, and I thought it was super intimidating when I gave him a firm handshake. <laughs> but now when I look back, I was a pudgy 14-year-old girl dressed in pink shorts and a pink shirt looking more like an Easter Bunny peep than an intimidating little sister. <laughs> I was noticing when Marissa was walking down the aisle that Nick was standing right here, and when he saw her, only because we disciplined him, he didn't, he didn't run. But you can see he had a little bit of a little step in his game. He was like, let's get going. Yeah, I love all the ties. Yeah. Yeah, John, John, John. Right. I'll see you soon. Yeah. See you guys on the swap. I keep on swap out here all the time. Yeah. I like those ones a little more, but those are the same. It's more like me. Which I recommend. Yeah. Veil reflection of the passion of God in marriage. When Nicholas will lay down his life for mercy. But in the process of laying down their lives for one another, what happens is that they become one. I have never met a more kind person, and I'm so happy to call you my sister. She would do anything for anyone. Yeah, I got you. You have found such a great guy to spend the rest of your life with. Nick is always going above and beyond to make you happy. You compliment each other so well. Absolutely genuine, beautiful, caring people. They're like the quintessential definition of the perfect couple. My dear friends, you've come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundant and blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament, so that you may assume the duties of marriage with mutual and lasting fidelity. Do you promise to be true to her in good 
times and in battle, in sickness and in health, to love her and honor her all the days of your life. I do. Marissa, you take Nicholas to be your husband. You promise to be true to him in good times and in battle, in sickness and in health, to love him and honor him all the days of your life. I do. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. When God is joined, men must not divide. Amen. 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 God, the Eternal Father, keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may stay with you and be always in your home. Amen. 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 May your children bless you, your friends console you, and all live in peace with you. Amen. 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 May you always bear witness to the love of God in the world so that the afflicted and the needy will find in you generous friends and welcome you into the joys of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks for again. God. And it is a distinct privilege and joy to be able to introduce to you as husband and wife for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Fredrickson. <laughs>